Boy, I tell you, when you having a rough game on Black Ops 2, you are having a rough game, yo. When it rains, it pours out here. So I go ahead and clean him up. But what you gotta, you gotta do, man. You, you gotta slow down. This game with the spawn system, man. Oh my, what the, what the fuck, man? That's oh my goodness, man. All right, motherfuckers. Did you see that shit? I'm just walking, you know what I mean? Doing what I do. Ignore my own, you know, worrying about my goddamn self. I go ahead and clean this bitch up. But you know, I just get blown up. Bomb! It's like, goddamn! And then it's got, it had the nerve to tell me mistakes were made. Are you kidding me? But anyway, man, that's just that's the nature of the beast on this game. I just want to give y'all some free for all tips. Let me start off with this, first and foremost. I said this in a, uh, my first impressions video. Alright, you're going to be disappointed if you got a headset. The sound on the game is excellent. You're the great, the best sound in Call of Duty ever. But it's not helpful sound. It's not shit that's going to help you be better at the game. What do I mean by that? Uh, footsteps. Everything sounds good except footsteps. You can't hear footsteps at all. And that's fine because a lot of people are completely um, addicted and dependent on a headset. You don't want to do that. And I even suggest that every you know couple weeks that you spend a day playing without your headset. Just so you can keep yourself alert to realize you don't need sound to do well. Because you know the, the more you try to listen, the more you stop looking at your radar and your you know and your map and you're just you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, the footsteps are non-existent. So you're gonna to have to win these these free for all games without footsteps. Now why would you play uh, free for all anyway? Well, they took Mercenary Team Deathmatch off again. Oh my goodness. That's bullshit, man. Everybody doesn't have a party. Everybody doesn't have friends to play with. Sometimes you might want to go solo. You know what I'm saying? And it's always good if you could play against other people that are going solo as well. That's what Mercenary Team Deathmatch was. 12 people all playing solo that just get placed on the team. It is what it is. Well, they took it off. Now it's purely Team Deathmatch if you want to play TDM. What that means is you're going to end up going against a whole bunch of parties. And like I said, if you don't have a whole lot of friends you play with, you know, you might want to spend some time playing by yourself. I recommend playing some free for all. Number one, it'll help you learn the maps. It'll help you understand traffic patterns. It'll help you understand, you know, gun damage and range. Because that's very important on this goddamn game. The SMGs have very short range now. They're up close, though. They'll bust your ass. But far away, you got to shoot people like 13 times to get the kill. And that's the way it should be. It don't bother me. But all this... Um, free for all will help you just learn the game in general how to how things flow. Yeah, you, know, you know I don't want to keep repeating that shit. Beat the goddamn dead horse. But sound, you gotta play without it. So how do we win without sound? Number one, UAVs. Run UAV. You're gonna have to anyway because it takes a while to unlock the kill streaks. I'm level 42 out of 55, and I still haven't unlocked all the kill streaks yet. You know they they did a very good job, and they they're more serious about making people level up on this game. And with that being said, the way the game works is you get 55 tokens. One time for each time you uh, level up. There's more than 55 items that you have to unlock on this game. So that means you'll have to prestige because you'll get additional tokens for doing that. If you want to unlock everything. Okay? So you need to spend your points wisely. Make sure you get silencers for your guns. You don't have to spend tokens on those, but you do still have to unlock those. You have to level up the guns like you level up everything else. With the SMGs, you get suppressors as a second attachment, I believe. With the assault rifle, it's at the end, okay? So you have to level up the gun quite a bit before you can use that. So I suggest at the beginning of the game, if you're playing free fraud, that you use the SMG, throw your silencer on there. It'll be a lot easier to level that up. Then, to actually win the game, <clears throat> look at this bitch. Like, what are you doing in the back of the map for the win? I don't know what he thought he was going to do back there. And that's, that's the dude I think I just killed. And that's what I'm going to tell you about this next tip. Okay, don't count because free for all is not about kill death ratio. It's about who can get 30 kills first. Somebody that's 30 and 29 beats a person that's 29 and 1. That's the nature of the beat. So, but you want to you want to move, but you don't want to move too much. By that I mean you don't want to do laps around the map. What you want to do is you want to get you a quadrant or a, a half of the map, and you want to stay in that area until you die. Then when you die, you go somewhere else. You know, pick a new head. But the reason I'm saying that is because the spawns are crazy. People always constantly spawn near you on this game. That's the way to keep the game fast-paced along with the UAVs. Now, if you want to run around, that's on you, brother. But I'm telling you right now, 
the more you run around, the more deaths you get just from being surprised by people around the corners. Those could be engagements you win. You know what I'm saying? You get one shot to win these free for alls. You know what I'm saying? Either you win, you the one guy that win, or you the eight other dudes that lose the game. So I pick quadrants of the map and I just stay in those areas. Um, people are going to spawn near you, so you got to keep an eye out for everything. Always, you kill somebody in one area in the corner, you turn back the other way and you look over there. Because they're going to keep spawning them back and forth on you. Another thing is, um, you can put dead silence on, but that's not going to make a bit of difference. I actually don't even use dead silence right now. I prefer to use another perk in place of that because it doesn't work. I mean, dead silence works, but there's no footsteps, so what are you even listening for? You know what I'm saying? Now, I got dead silence on this game. That's because I wanted to try it out so I could give y'all an honest opinion about the sound of the footsteps. So, I put on the great perk that allows you to put two perks in one tier. So, I put on dexterity, which is a very important. That's a must-have for me, and it might be for you as well. What that does, unless you ADS faster after spraying. So, that way, if somebody catches you off guard, you can still kill them. So, you know, think about it on that level. Um, kill streaks. Make, make sure you run low kill streaks, yo. High kill streaks on this game, it just ain't gonna happen. Orbital V set, that's the blackbird on this game. It used to only be eight kills. That's nothing. Eight kills in a row, that's ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Blackbird, chopper gunner dogs. What? That's ice. Not on this game. The orbital V set is now 12 kills. And you, tw excuse me, 1200 points. You play free for all, every point, every kill is worth 50 points. So that is the equivalent to a Moab for Modern Warfare 3. That's 24 kills for you to get the orbital V set. All right, so run UAV, hunter killer drone, and counter UAV. Even if you don't want to run hunter killer drone and counter UAV, keep that UAV on. That's the only way you can locate people. All right, it's for you to patrol the area and uh, call your UAVs in. I ran hard last, so I get more UAVs. You run a high kill streak, you ain't getting them shits. Um, you can ask any YouTuber right now. You're going to see a lot of videos about th about this if you haven't already. Kill streaks right now. With as low as the points that you get in some of these game modes are, or just very hard to get. So I ain't hating though, man. Video's over. These are some free fraud tips, man. Get your quadrant to the map, run a silencer, maybe even run ghosts. Keep yourself moving, keep yourself off the radar, but don't do too much running. Also, keep your kill streaks low. I ain't hating though, man. The video's over, man. All right, y'all.